All right. You might find it odd that I'm playing a Call of Duty game. There's so much shit I talk about it. <laughs> but I actually love Modern Warfare. I do. If you've seen previous videos, you might have seen me talk shit about the practice Activision did with this game. In all three occasions. Selling it with Infinite Warfare for a while. Selling the damn map pack at a higher price than what it was sold before. When it should have been in the game and not sold separately. And then selling the game separately at a high price. <coughs> without the map pack, the variety map pack. I didn't buy the map pack for this. I did buy the standalone version of it through well, well honestly I got it for twenty bucks. I didn't want to <coughs> turn that off or down. Uh but yeah. I just don't like the practice of Activision is what it is. I really don't like it. I think it's shit. I think they need to go back to the drawing board for the consumers. Um, it sucks. That's what they're all about. That's all what they're fucking about, and it's annoying, and I don't like it. I would love to try World War II. In fact, I was watching videos of World War II, which made me want to play Call of Duty. But goddamn it, World War II has scummy ass... Let's try Overgrown. I love Overgrown. It has some scummy ass practice in there. Microtransaction bullshit out the fucking yin yang, man. And Activision, I doubt you ever watch it, but if you do watch this, fuck you and your practice. Seriously. I, I, it's beyond greedy. And your game does look fun. It does. And I can see the appeal and why people go to it. <coughs> but the shit you do, man, you know, because you feel like you have that cash cow is what it's become. You have that cow that everyone wants. You're going to try and milk, milk the shit out of it, nickel and dime out of everyone. And I'm ranting in this video, playing, <sighs> playing your game. But I felt like playing Call of Duty and I wasn't going to go out and purchase World War II to play a Call of Duty. As much as I would love to play World War II, especially the new war mode. Fuck you Activision and fuck your practice. Seriously. Allowing people to buy a weapon you're being killed by in a kill feed just because people are raging out in an impulse buy. Watching someone, or having a mission to watch someone open a loot box on the beaches of Normandy. And this whole fucking... I'm not into social justice warrior bullshit. That PC fucking piece of shit argument everyone gets into. Fuck all that. People are just crybabies and they're sensitive. They need to grow the fuck up. And you cater to them. You cater to the crybabies. So again, fuck you Activision. Don't know why I'm playing this game now. I'm pissing myself off. <laughs> but I want to play a Call of Duty, goddammit. It's like having your something you want you want. You gotta listen to this piece of shit boss to get it. We've lost the lead! That's what you want to do to me. You want me to shut the fuck up. I about Activision, but I played a lot of Destiny. Fucking Bungie, man. I don't know why y'all went with Activision. Ah, when I heard that they were being published by Activision, man, my my heart stood still for a little bit. I was like, uh. Anyways. Off of the Activision rant. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played uh, Call of Duty in general. Our UAV is online. Um, 
Yeah, it's been a while since I played Call of Duty. I did b play this when I bought it. For 20 bucks. Uh, and I, I couldn't really get into it then. I guess I was pissed off at the idea of the game. I, as you can tell by my rant, I'm passionate about it. I probably shouldn't be, but I hate it when people get over see a good idea and just see this. It doesn't have to be like that. It really doesn't. You say it's a business and all that, you gotta make your money. Yeah. Granted, but it doesn't have to be like that. Our UAV is on mine! Even though I did <laughs> rant there for a little bit, I'm going to try to enjoy it for what it is. Jesus. <coughs> Kept shooting at that fucking cover. I remember when this game came out in 2007. I thought it was the coolest shit back then. Like most people back then. This is a game that gave Call of Duty its footing. I was about to slip into another rant. An Activision rant, because I just thought of something. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Uh, yeah, then, I don't know, just, just, just everything about this game, especially back then, was, like, it was unheard of. The controls felt smooth and uh... Our UAV is on mine. And I'm a huge Tom Clancy fan. I love Tom Clancy. Uh, I didn't like where Ghost Recon Enemy UAV went is for that time being. I love where it's at now. I love the multiplayer in Wildlands. I think it's phenomenal. I feel like it's going back to what they used to. What they the used way. to be. <laughs> Trying to knife me. Yeah, I was a Clancy fan, and uh, thought nothing could top Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, or Rainbow Six as far as the military. Call of Duty was World War II at the time. Whew. Enemy UAV is airborne. Just running around in circles now, huh? Yeah, Call of Duty was World War II. Uh, I think Battlefield. Uh, two years before, prior to this, Battlefield was actually the first game that went modern in Battlefield 2. Uh, Brothers in Arms was popular back then, another World War II shooter. <coughs> Medal of Honor, World War II. Most of World War II, so whenever, uh, everyone knows the song and dance, right? They know the story, so when this became modern, it was kind of neat, new for the time. Controls felt smooth. Halo, smooth. Modern shooter that felt clunky. Shit. Enemy UAV is airborne. Never, <coughs> the first time I played, uh, I put this disc in. I was watching someone's house, and I uh, told uh, my job. I forgot what I told them. That needed to be somewhere. Our UAV is on mine. I used to call it some stupid shit where I used to work to, We're about to win this one. Keep up the fire. get home early and play uh, some new games. Don't follow that kids, don't do it. It's not a it's not a good trait. But uh I say butter a lot, I've noticed that. Yeah, I went in and Enemy took the game home. Uh, went to GameStop, got, took the game score at the house I was watching. Oh, I thought that was friendly for a little bit. But I saw a blue gamer tag. And I know I'm doing horrible right now. I'm trying to talk. Yeah, and I played that first mission. Alright, thank you. Oh, shit. You're on. Oh, it's 
ship. I forget the name of that ship. It was, uh... There's a map on here, too. I can't remember what it's called. Wet work? Something? I, I don't know. If I get to it in this stream, I'll point it out. Yeah, it was the first time to have a cinematic campaign mission. I felt like you were watching an action movie. Uh... That's a standard emblem, huh? But it was amazing. It was. When I played the multiplayer. The multiplayer felt pretty uh, close to the. Uh, to the campaign. The tone of it and all that. Oh, yeah, this, this game first didn't have kill cam. Holy shit. Probably gonna be seeing that for a while. The first couple of games, I'm gonna be on the bottom. Oh, man. But yeah, the maps. I can't think of one bad map that I did not like in this game. I remember when the, the variety map pack came out, I was excited for it because I'm a map pack whore. I mean, or at least I used to be. Uh, back then, I would like to l learn the in and outs of all my favorite games, maps, and when new maps came in, I was excited like to dig in there and see what was uh, just do random with them. See what was uh, new about it and everything. I used to like Call of Duty. I used to like it a lot. Starting with this one, War at War. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, I did like, but that's where I started. Yes, Overgrown. That's when I started noticing the trend that it didn't look like it was changing much, even though Modern Warfare 2 did change more uh, to the previous ones, and then everything just stayed like Modern Warfare 2 as far as, you know. The ridiculous kill streaks and all that. Then Black Ops, I enjoyed. I enjoyed more than Modern for Two. Modern for Three, I didn't get at first because I was like Battlefield Three fanboy, saying this game's gonna be shit. Fuck Modern Warfare Three. <clears throat> Borrowed it from an old friend. Played the campaign, and I loved Modern for Three's campaign. It ended on a Make fucking no high note. Right. It was badass. So I played the multiplayer and. Got addicted to it. And then what came after that? Was it Ghost? No, 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 no. It wasn't Ghost. It was uh, Black Ops 2. And I felt the same with Black Ops 2 like I did with Modern Warfare 2. It's kind of... Eh. So I played a little bit of Black Ops 2 and found myself going back to Modern Warfare 3. And then played Ghost and... I, I didn't care for Call of Duty after Ghost. Because after Ghost, it was Advanced Warfare. Got that at a cheap deal. Uh, I think a month after it released. Then, uh. <coughs> I, I don't know. I wasn't turned off by the jetpacking like most people. I thought it was like a nice innovation. But it didn't keep my attention. came after that. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 left a sour taste in my mouth. And that falls into an Activision rant. So I'm going to get it over with real quick. Fuck you Activision for firing the original Infinity Ward. And uh, not only taking the franchise they created, but taking the idea of uh, Respawn Entertainment's Titanfall movement. Y'all are some cheap ass, low life, no shame motherfuckers. That's how I see you actually. Fuck off. Now that I'm done with that, that's why I let the sour taste alone. Black Ops 3 just 
I have nothing against Treyarch. <laughs> Activision kill feed. Um, yeah, nothing against Treyarch or nothing, but that was that was a low blow, man, in my eyes. That was just I was fucked up. Took the name and was taking their gameplay. In Infinite Warfare, I didn't even I didn't even look at that. I didn't know. I was like, fuck this. No way. You know, t talk about Call of Duty being the same over and over. That game was literally carbon copy, reskinned. You could just tell it was a fucking reskin of Black Ops 3. In World War II, I didn't get because of the bogus ass microtransaction practice Activision's trying to trying to do with the fucking scamming people into getting a good game. You want our good game? You want our good game? You're gonna have to pay a lot more than that. The fuck? Friendly air strike on the way. Friendly helicopter on the way. As you can see, you can tell why I stayed away from Call of Duty because how passionate I get about it. One of us is going to die. And it was me! Oh, <laughs> I thought it was him. I think I get too passionate about Call of Duty. If that wasn't ours, I'd be dead. No wrong, I am enjoying this game. I don't like the fucking bullshit supply drops in here. They took a good game. The remaster looks good. The graphics look good. It really does. Uh, throwing supply drops in there? Did you, you you had to throw supply drops in there, didn't you? Didn't you, Activision? You really had to throw <laughs> Activision right there. <laughs> you had to throw supply drops. You really had to throw supply drops. See, y'all have the three fucking worst practices, all right? First off, you sell your game at full price, all right? And then you sell your map packs, you know, season pass thing, which is a common practice that's been around for, it's been a decade, over a decade. Uh, I like how most games are doing free maps. Halo 5, Overwatch, Rainbow Six, uh, For Honor. I think every game needs, or every developer, every publisher needs to allow that to happen. But yeah, full price, map packs, and your microtransaction that is only supposed to be in free to play games. Free to play. See, you're charging 60 bucks for your game, 60 bucks for your fucking season pass, 120 altogether. That does not seem like, doesn't say, it's not free. So why do you put free to play practices on top of, you know, your double price fucking game? And that's why I, <laughs> I'm going at it again. Mm, fuck you, Activision. Fuck you. <laughs> I swear, every time I talk shit, I think that's Activision, man. It's really not, I'm just exaggerating that point. <sighs> Our UAV is online! Right, not gonna allow these rants to damper the fun I'm trying to have here. Because I do love Modern Warfare. And I am so fucking glad that I had a friend that sold this to me for 20 bucks. Didn't get the variety map pack. I feel like that would have been a. Um, bad choice or a poor choice of buying it anyway. Ooh, my back is singed. <laughs> what does it say? <coughs> I say it drops the. or separates the player pool count. Just barely noticed him. Excuse 
excuse me. Shit. Gonna get one of them spraying prey guns, right? Just hold down the trigger. Little P5. P5 ain't got distance though. This is a distance map. Take a nap, Mike. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. There you go. Probably have friends watching me play this on my uh, friends list. <laughs> Probably gonna call me out. <laughs> Why the fuck are you playing Call of Duty, Mike? I thought you hated that shit. I don't hate Call of Duty. I don't like the direction it's going. I still stand by that. I, I don't like the direction it's going. Never liked the direction it went. I don't like the fucking fat rich man that has its hand around its throat, telling it to give it more money. God damn it, man! I love Modern Warfare. Now, if they were making a Modern Warfare 2 remastered, I don't know if I would get it. Modern Warfare 3 Master, I still don't know if I'd get it, even though I did play those games, and I did enjoy them. Oddly enough, I enjoyed... I don't want to say I enjoyed 3 more than 2, but I played 3 more than 2. I, that's because I didn't... <laughs> Shit, get inside. I didn't play Call of Duty 2 that much. I really didn't care for it, I didn't like its direction. Until I just... Allowed myself to treat it for what it was worth, what it was. He's dead. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Time is running out. See, I don't like that stupid Friendly scope looking shit on there either. And the dumbass purple and pink and light blue camo you can put on your guns. I think it's dumb as hell. Huh. Well done. Victory is ours. No help of mine, right? Stupid ass camo. Who the fuck carries a gun like that? Oh, they had people quit on them. Yeah, I know it's a video game. I know Halo has some ridiculous skins too. Or Halo 5. Halo 4 started with some ridiculous ones. See right there, I don't play it too much I think I bought this in July uh, I like downpour go with that Excuse me. The Call of Duty's I have most memorable moments on is this one, Modern Warfare. Um, the first Black Ops, War at War. And uh, 
and I know a lot of people probably disagree with this, uh, Call of Duty 3, the one right before Modern Warfare. I actually... I loved Call of Duty 3. It felt like an old school console game. Uh, they even had vehicles in there too. It was cool as shit. It made me think of a World War II Halo. Um, and that's just awesome within itself. The idea of that. <coughs> but I have more memorable moments on that one. Because I played with friends mostly. Uh, against friends. Like a split screen and all that. Oh shit, that was friendly. We're taking the lead. Fuck you go. Is he dead? I can't remember the name of the map in Call of Duty 3. Um, it was a town that had a, f a barn in the back corner. With like a a wooden shed which is kind of like a barn I guess you could say uh, We're taking the lead. But that's the map I remember the most and then the uh, that one with that concrete bridge running to the other side in that ditch big ass ditch Other than that, I didn't really have any memorable moments in other Call of Duties. Most of my friends were kind of, they were off Call of Duty trend for me. UAV recon standing by. Our UAV is online. Enemy UAV is airborne. I think I could kill myself over here. Enemy UAV is airborne. I guess so. I mean, that's realistic. We've lost the lead. I forgot, I got a rocket launcher. That oh, looks cool. I like that. That's DNA. That was pretty cool. We've lost the lead. Not getting it. Killed by a silly ass looking gun. We're taking the lead. Wipe yourself off. You did. <laughs> Give me the rag. I'll wipe myself off. Right into it, huh? Might as well teabag that grenade. I guess you can't shoot through things. I can't remember if it's a perk you need to shoot through things.
Froze like a deer. Headlights when I saw that. Friendly chopper on the way. Enemy UAV is airborne. Yeah, I love the design and the aesthetic of the maps in Modern Warfare. They just don't have this design anymore, like... They all just seem boring now. I mean, granted, Black Ops 3 looks less boring than most maps. Most maps, it just seems like... Shit, shit, shit. Have any friends? Oh shit. Okay. Spray and pray. Whew. Oh, roll over. <laughs> We're about to win this one. Oh, yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah, most maps. Even though this one could be considered that way, it just doesn't the layout doesn't make it feel that way. That was the beauty about it. You just get these squared maps with a maze in there and they call it a map. And that's most of the maps. Pretty lame. Pretty lame. Oh, hey. Enemy <laughs> I don't know why it's part me there. Nice. Enemy UAV is airborne. What? A rowdy general. Enemy UAV is airborne. Must be uh, Irish, Irish, English. We've lost the lead. Last kill, wasn't I? Hope magic got me. Wasn't magic. I see him talking on there, though. I don't know what he's saying. <sighs> I'm slowly getting better. maps. Let's see what my friends are doing. Oh, he's offline. Huh. 
<sighs> I remember I used to love this beta. This and Ward at War's beta. Ward at War was another one I adored. It was pretty much a World War II version of Modern Warfare. But it was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, Team Deathmatch. Let's do this. We've taken the lead. I wonder what game started like the multiple map pack. I don't want to say it was Halo 2, but they didn't do it in a corporation way. I know that. They did it differently. It's like three months later, you get the map. Oh shit! Get those maps for free if you didn't buy them. Which is cool, man. It was really fucking cool. Like, I remember overhearing that's what Gears of War was supposed to do, but they never really did. There's another series I love. I should, I should stream that one too. I got Gears of War 4, and I do love it. I did have a lot of fun with it. Uh, UAV is online. Gotcha. Maybe I'll <coughs> shit, I'll do that one day. Oh shit. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream a little bit of tears tomorrow. It's been a while since I played that one as well. I'm gonna be rusty. Rusty as hell. Like I am on this, especially gears. If you're rusty on gears, it's fucking game over, man. It's game over. You're getting you better. Become a tryhard. That was one thing cool back then. Even though you couldn't drive the vehicles, uh, you can use them as. Killing the enemy. Enemy UAV is airborne. Shooting at it, throwing a grenade, making it blow up in the vicinity around them. UAV recon standing by. Wee. He made it out with a bullet in his back. <laughs> That's probably not as funny as I thought it was, but getting shot in the knee and falling in your face and dying. It's pretty cool. Enemy UAV is airborne. Uh, hell. Come and look first, buddy. UAV recon standing by. Fuck. Our UAV is online. Love it. Was it these guys? Look, no, it wasn't. 
Oh, he's laying on a goddamn ground. Cover. God damn. There's fire, huh? I'll see the place in the battlefield. That's my favorite. Modern combat. Modern warfare type of game. Enemy UAV is airborne. Shit. Uh, that was gonna happen. I'm actually waiting for that incursions mode to come off of Battlefield 1. Enemy UAV is airborne. I, I like Battlefield 1, but for some reason I just I, I couldn't go back and play it over and over and over. Like, it's a fantastic game. It's made well. It looks good. It sounds good. Uh, the controls are great. Just uh, the game modes themselves, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Like, even the operate. Oh, I saw your head. <coughs> oh, I thought it was that guy. I was shooting that. Look at me just ran over me. Shut the fuck up. But yeah, I don't know. Those modes are just too... Now UAV is online. Too big for me. Battlefield's too big for me. Call of Duty's too small for me. Uh, that's why I enjoy Halo. Like, it's that medium. I love it. Has the uh, for big team battle you got the vehicles, uh, team arena for your mid small maps. Shit. Bloody hell, we just got our asses kicked. I think everyone knows I love Halo. with it, right? Okay, for shotguns. It's a cheatsy one, but I'm getting it. I'm gonna put it on all my. Do I want steady aim with that? Weapon attachment. Oh, the noob tube is what they call it. How do I get rid of it? Alright, it's one with the M4. Oh, 
crazy there, Gumby. What the shit was that? Normally those guys kill me. things I loved about uh, uh, War at War. With the whole last stand thing. You can be <coughs> be revived with someone else that had it as well. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, I'm not anymore. left them there's like oh, really three grenades. That door was there. Enemy UAV Honda there. Smack the T Rex. Yeah, I'm used to a left bumper as my grenades and right bumper as a melee. Oh, That's way I prefer it. Feels more natural to me that way. Enemy UAV is airborne. What the fuck are those there for? <laughs> I deserved it. If y'all made it this far in the video, oh, yeah, I'll suck it. Yeah. 
I suck. I suck in Call of Duty. That's where I can be. Highly bored bottom, middle. Fluctuates with me. But I'm not playing. Be competitive. I'm just playing it just to have fun with it. I don't care about dying. I might make this my last game. Oh, shit for the stream. time I wasn't even thinking I was thinking that was the ally helicopter we may have oh, lost shit. the battle but they had more. less people than us didn't they oh so dope Those depot credits with that fucking stupid ass buying gun bullshit. I look scared. <gasps> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done with this. Uh, don't know if I'll stream this game again I might I just feel like playing Call of Duty I was looking at some World War 2 gameplay and <sighs> wanted to play that but I don't want to support that stupid ass bullshit Activision does so this is where I'm going to end it and see you next stream adios